Hi there, I'm Sheer Pendarvis, artist and author of the Painter Wow books and the Artist Tablet books. In this video, we will explore enhanced cloning options, including clone painting with a variety of brushes and using multiple clone sources. First, I'll open the photo art layout, which has all the tools that we need. Window, layout, photo art. For the image on screen, I began with my original photo of our yellow hibiscus. I use the underpainting feature and a variety of brushes, including the captured bristle and the real fat chalk, to paint brushwork texture over the photo. Additionally, I used multiple clone sources to create the image. To begin, I open my original photo. Painter 2019 includes a feature, Quick Clone, which will make a clone copy of your image, clear the contents of the canvas, turn on tracing paper, and even choose the cloning brush category. I'm going to choose File, Quick Clone. The Quick Clone feature is useful for tracing, a sketch, and also for photo painting, as we'll look at right now. Let's have a look at the Clone Source panel first. You see at the top, this is my cloned image. It hasn't been named yet, so it's untitled to Source Embedded Image. That is our Clone Source. It's also listed down here. Options Show Source Image with Crosshair Cursor, which is very useful, as we will see in a minute. Toggle tracing paper is useful for tracing a sketch and also during parts of the clone painting process. And we can also adjust the opacity of the tracing paper depending on how light we want it to be. Let's leave it at about 50%. And the name of our clone source is listed here. And if we have additional clone sources, as we'll see later, they will come up in this list right here. We can show source image and then position our image over to the right here and click on our cloned image and toggle tracing paper off, toggle tracing paper back on. I'm going to grab my stylus and we have the soft cloner too chosen and I'm just going to go along the edge here. You see the cursor here and the source image toggle tracing paper off and on as I work. Position this over a little bit more. I'm going to increase the size of the brush so that we can get quicker coverage, more complete coverage. Softly clone this in. And it's very helpful to watch the source image as well as we work. Now I'm going to choose the acrylics and gouache and the speckle wet and dry and turn it into a cloning brush by clicking clone color. Increase the size of our brush and put some brush stroke texture onto the background. Break up the image a little bit and go back to my soft cloner and restore some of this area in here. Now I'm going to choose the real fat chalk. Enable clone color. Increase the size. So this is real quick, but it gives you an idea of what is possible with a variety of brushes used for clone painting. Now let's return to the earlier photo painting of the yellow hibiscus that I showed. It was created with multiple clone sources. For this image, I wanted an abstract look with both brush and chalk texture. The real fat chalk has a rectangular brush dab, which is important to the abstract, subtly cubist look. Here are the main source images that I created for the hibiscus piece. The smart blur image that I created using the underpainting feature you see down here, smart blur. The first auto painted image, which I used the captured bristle. The second auto painted image. In this one, I used the real fat chalk used as a cloner. As you see, if I choose the real fat chalk up here, you see I can turn clone color on and off. In the 
color panel and here we have the final image. I'll bring this up, grab my stylus, and just so you can see, I'll add a little bit more of the chalk texture. And I'm going to go down here to my real fat chalk source image. Now, if we wanted to use the soft cloner to bring it in, we can also do this, and it's going to bring in more of the actual source image. So you get more of that chunky look that's in my source image. If we want to use the softer look, we can clone some of this one in. See, this was with a big soft captured bristle brush and then if I want to restore some of the image I can click on the smart blur clone source and see we can bring this back right here. In this video we touched on several cloning and photo painting options including quick clone, the clone source panel, using multiple clone sources, and painting with a variety of brushes and more. Enjoy Painter and happy painting!